Seram, Brother Dr. Bawa Seram. and Sister Lila. Seram. Let us start by uh, you, Dr. Bawa, sharing how you first come to know about Swami. Well, um, uh, when I was growing up and I was uh, in my secondary school, uh, I started getting to know Baba because my parents were, you know, praying to Baba. And uh, it further went on. I went to university and I did my studies, undergraduate. I went to further studies. I did my specialization. I came back. Then mm. I had an opportunity to go to Australia. Mm. Uh, and I got married during that, that point. Mm. And uh, my wife, uh, she also uh, started off uh, to come into uh, Baba family. Mm. But we were not very deeply involved at that point. Um, mm. And our experience all started when I went to Australia. Which city is in Australia? Uh, it was in Melbourne. So at that point in time, do you have children? We had two children. Oh, so both of you and the children uh, went to Melbourne, yes. okay? Yeah. Yes. So uh, what happened was, uh, when everything was very new for us, uh, we haven't been overseas before, and uh, when we went over to Australia, uh, we uh, didn't know what to expect, a lot of challenges for us. So at the initial period, uh, we were like quite lost. And, uh, you know, at one point, uh, I was looking for accommodation. I couldn't find the right accommodation. So I was like, you know, moving everywhere and for the past two, for, for two weeks or so. And uh, I didn't know... How many know, houses have you looked at during that period? About 15 units. No? About 15, 15 units, 15, yes. 15 units. Yes. Yeah. So I was like, you know, I didn't know what to do. And um, uh, I, I was like, at one point, uh, what I did was uh, I sat down for a while and I looked up and I saw Baba's photograph. And the... the, the shop which was opposite me, where I was sitting, had a Baba's photograph. I looked at him, you know, and he was like looking at me, practically he was looking at me. And uh, that sort of triggered, you know, like something, like he was trying to tell me something. So I was just thinking to myself, you know, what is it all about? So when I was standing around, I actually saw a real estate agent, a shop, which was located a few, met few meters away. So I thought maybe it's a message. So I went over to the shop and I was asking them. I was, I was asking them and he the, actually the, the person, the agent told me there's actually a vacant house. You want it? I will take you now. I'll take you and go. So immediately he took me he took me with his car and I went and saw and I liked it. And I paid the down payment, installment and everything and I moved in. Oh. Within the uh, next one or two days, I took my family and yeah. came in. Yeah. So that became our house. Okay. And that, that became our start. Getting to know the Sai family, getting to know Sai Baba even because when I married him, I had zero knowledge about Sai Baba. When I married him and went first time to the house, you know, Indian brides must go right. to the altar to light the lamp. When I, went, I saw Sai Baba's photo, I was like, oh, they prayed to this man. So, you know, <laughs> yeah. I was not sure who's this man. No, why is it a man? It's yeah. not God, it's not Ganesh or Lord Subramaniam or whoever. So, I was thinking, uh, totally zero knowledge about okay. Baba. But in Australia, it started. Uh -huh. There must be a reason why Baba picked the house for yes, you. Yes. Yes, definitely. So what happened? Because uh, when he picked that house, uh, within that first week, we got that bulletin. You know, in the county, they have bulletins coming in. And the first page itself said that, no? Uh, Satya Sai Baba Center, Coburg Center, telephone number. So we just called. Since Baba, you know, we, we, since he told me the story about Swami, yeah. I said, let's try. How come the bulletin has Sai number? Let's try. We called and then we found out the same row. There's a community hall where bhajans are held. So, so convenient. Yeah. Everything about Swami was so convenient for us. And yeah. when it opened the world of Sai, Australian Sai community, that's when I realized, wow, he is Swami. No? Slowly he started learning about Swami. Started attending bhajans first, then started attending talks, joined satsang, then we started attending book clubs. No? Yes. They have book club. Every time Sai Gitanjali. You know, all the Sai books. They it's a weekly discussion. Uh, weekly discussion uh, uh, okay. And he got topic. involved in the Sai medical camp there. I got involved in the Sai Balikas. I got trained uh, in Melbourne. So you got trained to be a Balikas guru, guru in Melbourne. Melbourne. Yeah, yeah. Opened up a different world for us also. Normal Hindu lifestyle that we were following. Now we have got, we have finally found our guru. So that was the So how long were you there in Melbourne? Two years. Yeah, two years. Two years. Tell yes. us after that what happened. We after that, back. when we came back, uh, we came back with a lot of what shall I say, knowledge 
of uh, Baba and also uh, the bond. We educated a bond with the Australian family of Sai. Um, so after coming here, we started getting ourselves involved in a lot of activities. We used to uh, attend regular bhajans and uh, we got involved in the activities. We used to attend medical camps and also my okay, wife. We uh, continued, brother. Okay. We, when we left, we were just a normal Hindu family. <laughs> Husband, wife, two children. When we came back, we came back as a Sai family. Great. Everything we did, we made sure it was in the line of Swami's teaching. Uh, we made sure we didn't waver, right. you know, yeah. we tried our best to yeah. try. So I, uh, myself, I became a vegetarian after that. I, I thought, um, why not, you know, let's, that's the first step I took to become a vegetarian. He is only a vegetarian on Thursdays for Guru. Uh, so <laughs> I, until now it's like that. He's so, not a full vegetarian. So what is your involvement in the centre here after you come uh, back? When we came back, uh, mm. I, I got involved with the Banvikas here. He immediately got involved. Okay. So all medical activities he takes care. I you are doing education, eh? So you are teaching the preschooler. You I run me? a preschool. Uh, I run a preschool. Uh, he's a government servant, so uh, we just Wish. carry on, you know, brother. Yes. And, and when you when you live your life with Sai involved in everything, I think always in check. You're okay. very careful not to make any mistakes, you know. And every time we make a donation or we give money. Uh, it's not ours, you know, uh, Swami's money. Anything we get, bonuses, gifts or whatever, all praise goes to Swami, you know. To the extent my children, I'm so happy that when they spend, they, in their heart, they always tell, you know, thanks Swami. Dr. Bawa, uh, describe to me your first trip to Bhatti. Okay, um, my, the, the trip, uh, the first, my first trip was in 2004 and uh, at that point, uh, I already came back from Australia, and um, uh, so uh, when I made a trip to Puttaparthi, uh, we were liaising with uh, our family in Australia, and so uh, we met them in uh, Puttaparthi, and uh, we actually um, were attending all the activities in Puttaparthi. So um, my first experience uh, in seeing Baba, I actually I can't describe in words. It was like. Um, the light which was coming towards me, you know, it was yeah. something which I can't describe. It was a lot of excitement, yeah. and uh, I felt that you know, uh, this is this is I'm actually seeing God, uh, and I've never experienced this kind of feeling before. How so, about you, sister? No, I no nothing to say. Only tears. Tears, huh? Mm. Keep tearing. Automatically, automatically, I was just crying and crying and crying. Uh -huh. Throughout, I was crying. So when people ask me, I don't know what to tell them. I say it's okay, it's good, it's nice. I saw Baba, it's nice. I never shared that I cried. It's just so much of tears. I'm so happy, you know. Finally, you are here. You are the one. Uh, you are the person. Uh, it's like that. Then I understand there's an incident with, the, with yes. your son, right? Yes. My son was uh, six years old. Six, no, seven. Seven, mm -hmm. one. He already joined the school here. And he used to tell me, I used to see things here. I can see something flying. You know, mm -hmm. I didn't take understand. Note, uh, I didn't uh, take note. When we were in party, and we were seeing Baba, you know, every time he would tell me, Mom, Today Baba was so big, uh, then, so then Baba became so small, and then he became so big, and then he became so small. So I said, this is something not, not uh, it's quite funny. In our group, there was an eye surgeon. He said, uh, I'm not so happy to hear that this is not, this is a different type of miracle. This is Baba is trying to tell you something is wrong with your son. My son was wearing glasses from two years old. And when he was a baby, yeah, he was already wearing glasses because they had got eye problems from his side of the family, Dr. Baba okay. was also. So. Swami told me something's wrong. Take him to the super specialty hospital. Mm. So since getting to super specialty hospital is not easy, mm. your brother, it's not like mm. you go and just okay. register. You have to get a lot of paperwork done. So the surgeon said, Why did you leave? I think so. Our, our trip to Parthi, the first trip was two weeks. We planned to stay for two weeks. We only stayed five days. Because he kept saying that so many times. I can see Baba this way, big Baba. I can mm. see tall Baba. We came back, we went and saw our eye specialist that mm. my son follows. He said, oh my God, thank God you're back. We are going to get him operated immediately. He was operated for 14 hours. 14 hours and it cost us like 40,000 more. Because that time, the specialist for that uh, eye was only in the private sector. We didn't have government doctors who were so good to operate on him. So that was uh, Baba's miracle, I would say. If not, my, I would have a blind son now. I was very sure. So the operation was a success. 
Yeah, yeah my son uh, actually uh, he's completed his undergraduate studies and uh, tomorrow he's actually starting off his intern internship, internship uh, for three months. So he's quite okay. I mean, he's just like any other young adult. He's very active. Uh, he's very motivated, and yeah. uh, you know, he's very matured. Sure. Yeah, Only okay. thing, sometimes when he plays a lot of gamers. So Swami <laughs> gave you the eyes, not for games, for studies. Swami so gave you the eyes. Swami so gave you the eyes. Yeah. So he has a lot of other operations to follow because he has a lot of repair that needs yeah. to be done. But I'm not worried. Is there any other blessing from Swami that you feel you want to share with us, the our audience? Yeah, um, as a medical doctor and as a specialist, uh, I do obstetrics and gynae, uh, meaning that my area of specialty, uh, the workload is very heavy, the responsibility is very high. Yeah? So, and I work in the public sector, public service. So, um, so when I and when I continued working, um, I, I the, despite all the challenges and everything. I also had offers, uh, lucrative offers to go to private practice, but uh, something told me that you know that is not the right path. Mm. And uh, when I started getting into Baba's philosophy, uh, it taught me that uh, service mm. to mankind is service to God. So I, I I I got stuck to that principle, you know, and I took it as uh, my lifelong philosophy. Like, so I just followed that, you know, and I've been in the service for the past thirty, nearly thirty over years now. Uh, I've been with the public service and I'm happy about it. I mean, I got no regrets. Uh, I could have gone to private sector. I mm -hmm. could have been, uh, I could have gained a lot of money in the private sector, but I, I, I thought that was not the right path for me. You know, mm -hmm. uh, so I, I, I followed this path and um, I'm happy. And uh, to me, every time uh, I do service to people, I provide whatever needs to be done. I feel that I'm directly uh, uh, providing that to God. You know, I'm saying praise to God and... Uh, mm -hmm. I feel blessed. Yeah. And How about you, uh, sister? Any like any Swami teachings, you know, lessons that uh, resonate with you the most? Because I'm in the teaching line. Uh -huh. I teach uh, preschoolers. I run a preschool here, Ajitra. So for me, brother, if you ask me, the end of education is character. You can be highly educated like him or just average like me, but uh -huh. I think our character speaks who we are. It, uh -huh. It's very important, you know. Mm. Human values of Sai Baba is the is the foundation uh, for a very bright and strong future. But in the end of it all, I've got this uh, great passion whereby I realize when we are younger, we are a bit different, you know. Thinking is a bit different. We yeah. want, you know, uh, so many things, material things. As we yeah. grow older, we tend to change. Yeah. And if you have a strong foundation like Swami's teaching, it helps. And I want to impart that, yeah. not only with my three children, but also all the children who walk through it. Academic is one side. Mm. Human values must always be number one. Yeah, yeah. With a good character, you can go very far. So. My understanding is you, Swami also kind of give you a blessing in terms of uh, dato ship. Yeah, that was yeah, yeah. Actually, uh, <laughs> it, 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 it was uh, unanticipated, mm. unexpected, I would say, yeah, because yeah. Uh, all the while, sometimes when you when you you also have frustration when you start working. I mean, it comes naturally to you. You, know? yeah. you work so hard, yeah. and you know sometimes your your promotion gets delayed or you don't get what you are, you are expecting uh, you know uh, sure. in your profession and things like that you get frustrated sometimes you need budget to buy equipment yeah. and when you're in the government sector you can't hope that it's going to come you know i mean it's not your money it's government's money yeah. so but you work along you just work according to what you have and uh, frustration sets in but um, suddenly when you're rewarded you feel motivated you know yes. you feel good yes. and you want to work it pushes you to work further so this is when uh, I, I was I was told I mean I was given a, I received a phone call saying that you are being rewarded at the two ship and I totally un, unanticipated I never expected it to come actually yeah. so I feel that this is a reward directly from Baba. Okay. So my last question to you is like who is Sai Baba to you, Doctor Baba? Sai Baba is my guide and uh, I see him as a person who is holding my hand and taking me along. Yeah. Uh, so I need to follow him, lah. You know, I cannot say no, 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 and I just start going somewhere. No, I cannot because I feel that he will show me the path. So uh, because in the beginning, when you say when you first saw Swami and Pati, you describe him as a light. You know? Yes. So I can always see, you know, yes. he's a guiding light for you. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, yeah. That, that that's how I, I assume yeah. it is, lah. Yes. How about you, sister? Swami so is my mom, Sai Ma. Uh, it's always been a mother that I never had because I, I am a motherless child. 
I, I lost my mom when I was 12. So there's mm -hmm. always been a void, even though I had a very good father. Mm -hmm. But uh, and then I became a mother myself without, you know, and died. So he's always been there. Right. With mm -hmm. my children's illness, their studies, their success, their failures and everything. So he's there. So he will guide me. And he's still guiding me and uh, I think it's going to be a beautiful life. Till the end, yes. you know, brother. It will be. Once you've found your guru, and your guru is someone who is like, uh, takes the place of your parent and the guiding source of light, I think you're on the right track. So, Dr. Baba, Sister Leela, thank you so much for spending your time with us, and may God bless you and your family. Sairam. Most welcome, Sairam, brother. Sairam, and thank you so much. For thank you.